Hey everybody, this is David B69, and welcome to Philadelphia Philly Baseball and MLB The Show 23. This is Franchise Mode, and we've reached middle of May. Um, as you can see here, we're like in the, right in the middle of the calendar. Um, we're basically got a couple games against Toronto off day before we have another series against Colorado. Colorado, as you remember, we had a split series with him um, in Philly, so we really want to win that series. But we're kind of like on a roll right now. We've won like four games in a row. We've got Nola pitching for us today, so we're looking pretty good. And then we got then we got Wheeler going tomorrow, but we're going up against two of their best pitchers. So let's uh, just get right into it. Standing wise, we're in first place. And as it stands right now, the Blue Jays are in first place in their division. So it's kind of like a test of division leaders, and you love to see that. So let's get to it. You do love to see that the lineup is in fully intact, and we're in like really good shape now. Here in Philadelphia, Citizens Bank Park, two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nola. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Yeah, this guy's been real stingy, man. Not allowing guys to play the game, just keeping them at home played. I mean, just ridiculous. Sub one whip. I mean, he's dominating hitters. And a guy like this on the mound, one of the elite starters in the game right now. Okay, all set to go. Now it's the power speed combo. Whit Merrifield. The pitch. In for a strike, and we're underway here in Philly. Here's the 0-2. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Hauls it in for the out. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. That one's in there. Strike one. One down, base is empty. Liner snagged it first. That is third. The shortstop. Bull Bichette up to the dish. Seventh right now and runs batted in the American League. Hit hard. That gets through. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. George Springer in the box now. No balls and a strike. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. Kicks and deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. One left for Toronto. And now it's the Phillies' turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Citizens Bank Park. Today's starting pitcher, Alec Manoa. What should we keep an eye on here? Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So 
But taking the mound, this is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Bottom of the first. Here's Trey Turner. And a foul ball. Singy Alec Minoa's turned into one of the better starters in the American League. Blue Jays drafted him out of West Virginia. He was the 11th overall pick in the 2019 draft. Yeah, and just a year later, a big league all-star. So developed pretty quickly and a front-end rotation guy for the Toronto Blue Jays. Going to count one and two. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Who? you uh, have any memorable hit-by-pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. And first offering is fouled off. Mendoa, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Turner aboard here at first with nobody out. And now the count is even. It's a good take. Next one misses three and two now. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. On to first, one gone, bottom half of the first. And now it's Alec Bohm, good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Man at second. Swing and a miss at one above the zone. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. One out and a runner at second. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where... It's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. One ball, two strikes. One and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Runner at second, two down. The next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. And now the count filled up three and two. JT Real Muto on deck for the Phils. So now two on and two outs. Didn't miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. And now it is JT Real Muto. And strike one to the catcher. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. Another 0 2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. In the dirt, but no advance from the runners. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Oh. 
Right-hander kicks deals. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one hops the wall. One runs in. Around third. He'll score as well. And they take a two-run lead. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Derek Hall. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. JT Real Muto delivers yet again on this one. And it's two zip. Major League Baseball is on the show. Top of the second, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. The first baseman, Vladimir The wind of the pitch. Jr. And first offering is fouled off. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made Dad proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. More play discipline than dad. Danny Jansen to hit here. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Foul ball there. Oog, Rusty Valentine umpiring behind the plate in this one. He has what you might call a tall strike zone both at the letters and down below the knees. Yeah, and I'm sure that helps a lot of pitchers we see today who like to work up, down, trying to change eye levels and swing paths. Yep, yeah, exactly. 2-2 two -two now. 3-2. And that's ball four. Thank you, mate. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. And here it comes. And a foul ball, third base side. On the ground, a short could be two. Steps on the bag for one. And that's two. Three up, three down for him there. Down to the bottom of the second. It's the Phillies two and the Jays nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom half of inning number two. This is Bryson Stott. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And the first pitch misses for ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Kicks and fires. Fights it off. You'll see another. And a 1-2. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The 1-2. Two. Two balls. Two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. 
Now fly ball to right center. Makes the catch for the out. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next pitch has popped up. He's got it. And that is that. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They're up 2 nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. And now the veteran third baseman, Matt Chapman. Nola back to work. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Chapman getting to start at the hot corner in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he took home a gold glove in 2021. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Got him swinging. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the blade. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. And now it's Dalton Varsho. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Varsho measures 5 feet 10 inches, 205 pounds, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. There's the strike. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Schwarber makes the play. Two up, two down. The batter number 15, second baseman. With Back to the leadoff Merrifield. spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to first. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Merrifield, a former All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was a ninth-round draft pick back in 2010. 0 and 2 now. Line drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Strike on the outside. No balls, two strikes. Struck him out looking. Blue Jays held in check, and they're down 2-0. Ready to go for the last Ready half of the inning. The Trey Turner Phillies. now. Not shortstop. Trey Turner. And a pitch. It's good speed at the top oh. of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Line drive base hit. Now that ups his hitting fielder. streak to lucky number 13. The Baker's Whoa. dozen boog, and it doesn't seem like a huge number, but anytime you get to the point where you've hit in every game for almost two weeks straight, uh, that's a sign of what kind of rhythm you're in. Man, at first, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And first offering is fouled off. Turner gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Schwarber, in his eighth season, 30 years old now, he joined the team as a free agent. Turner runs. Ball misses. Jansen, great throw. He's out. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big-time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Oh, wow. nice play. Fires to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Two outs, base is empty. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Struck out swinging his first time. There's the strike.
And a swing and a miss there. And one and two. Upstairs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. As we go to the top of the fourth, now it's the shortstop, Bo Bichette. Come back to the mound. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And the batter is George Springer. He swings and fouls one off. Chris, one of the things that's really cool about George Springer's story is what he has overcome. As a kid, he had a lot of anxiety, and he had a stutter, and he's a guy now that speaks publicly and does so marvelously and is a great spokesperson for young people who struggle with stutter yeah the stuttering association for the young say is the acronym and george springer doing a great job representing that organization the one two swing and a miss struck him out here's vladimir guerrero jr struck out looking at his first at bat strike one no ball. one strike Can't glove it cleanly to second, and he's safe. The catcher, number nine, Danny Jansen. Now it's Jansen to hit. He reached out a walk his first time. In there, and it's 0-1. On the inside corner for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Ground ball, left side, and it's just foul. That was close. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. So up next for Toronto, Brandon Bell. He hit into a double play his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. Ground ball right side. They get the force. That ends the frame. Blue Jays leave a pair. They trail it here 2-0. Bottom four, leading off, leading off Bryce off Harper. Billy. If you don't the get ahead in the count... Here. You can forget about having any success against him. Harper. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And that's outside. One ball, one strike. And another ball. Slice the other way and foul. Now with the shift on, hits right into it. Merrifield, the first in time. Harper retired. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Real Muto now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Inside corner for a strike, and a count is 0-2. Got 
at him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Bounce to third, and it's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. The batter, number five. Second Runner at first with two away. Bryson. Stepping in the long ball threat, Bryson Stott. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses okay. for ball one. Missed. Two and one. Hall off of first with two away. <laughs> two two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The pitch. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Back-to-back -back singles. So that's two straight two-out hits. Safe there, and we've got runners at second and third with two away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Swing and a foul straight back. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is the inning. Phillies leave a couple, but they hold the 2-0 lead. Ready now for the fifth Leading inning. And now for the Jays, Matt the Chapman. Matt Chapman. The right-hander back to work. And that one is inside ball one. Well, these Blue Jays just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Next pitch misses. Two and one. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. The why to kick the pitch. Chapman gets a piece there. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Varsho batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Next offering is downstairs. One and one. Swing and a miss, and that's one strike ball. two. Next offering is fouled back. Righty to the plate. Fouls it off, still one and two. Hell, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Good job to fight that one off. Foul ball still a one and two count. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Here's a one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again.
Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The one two. Fouls it back with two strikes. Lifted in the air, right center field. Castellanos gets under it. He makes the grab. That's out number two. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Oh. Merrifield in the box oh, with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Next yeah. offering upstairs. Two down, nobody on. Just oh, off oh. the outside part of the plate. That's a little bit low. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Popped in the air, left field, and makes the grab. That is the inning. Been doing for the Blue Jays. They're still down. It's 2 zip. And welcome back at the play, Brandon Marsh. The pitch that clips the corner Ooh, over 80 percent of his first pitches are strikes when you're doing that you could have a really good day out there in the mound to third Chapman fires across the diamond and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth oh, we talk about how no the ball is coming seven. out of the pitcher's hand Shift. the way it comes out of his hand as an infielder wow really impressive so the batting order turns over and the batter will be the shortstop, Trey Turner. First offering misses the mark. He caught it behind his back. Gathers and throws, and that's a great play for the out. Now batting, left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Misses outside, and that's ball one. The pitch. Fought off foul. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. And a pitch. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Phillies down in order. But they're on top 2 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading Kevin. off, Kevin Kiermeyer. Nola back to work. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0-1. Swings through that one. Owen two now. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. So up next, Bobichet. And fouled off. Bobichet, second round pick, 2016. And a kid who comes from pretty good baseball family. His dad, Dante, played for California, Milwaukee, Colorado, Cincinnati, and Boston over 14 big league seasons, and Dante could swing it. Yeah, and you just get the sense in watching Bo that this guy, all he wants to do is win. A gamer goes hard and wants to lead that ball club to a championship. Springer, batting with one down, takes a strike. There's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Ground ball could be two. There's one. Double play. 
They can't seem to break through. Inning over. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Phillies 2 and the Jays nothing. Well, we go bottom six. And digging in for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. The pitch. Foul ball. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Tosses to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six. And now here is Harper. Harper. Harper, the former MVP, 30 years old now, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Bryce Harper with a star scraper. His 17th of the year. It's 3-0. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I could feel that swing from the booth. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. One out, nobody on. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Drove in two runs on a double back in the first. He's one for two. Out towards left center. And there are two down. Now batting, the first baseman. Derek. And now for the Phillies, Derek oh. Hall. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. In there for strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the OO count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Down the middle for a strike. Oh, and two now. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Hard hit, right side. Throws to first, and that is the inning. The Phillies add another on this solo homer. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We go to the top of the seventh. Now here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And that one fouled off. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Ball one there. In the air, right side. Castellanos calls it in, and there's one away. Danny Jansen next up for the Blue Jays. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Top of the zone for a called strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Pitch misses inside, and it's 2-1. and one. That clips the corner. 2-2 now. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Man, he had the stanky leg on that one right there. That curveball ball just locked him up. And next for Toronto, Brandon Bell. Bell. 
tapped at the plate but it's a foul ball left hand batter waits there's a strike hacks and misses it's a strikeout I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Righty reliever out of the pen, Jimmy Garcia. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Garcia. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Bryson Stott. The second baseman, Bryson Stott. The pitch. And fires in a fastball at 95. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Next offering is down low. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Kiermaier going back on this one. Back some more. And that one is off the wall. And he's in to third base with a leadoff triple. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Came screaming off the bat, I'm sure. Exit velocity is off the charts. No doubt he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means. So, man aboard. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Breaking ball through there for a strike. And takes low for ball one. He caught it behind his back. There's one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. <laughs> Next to hit, Brandon Marsh. Next pitch has popped up. Out number two. Trey Turner with a chance now. That one hit to right. And George makes the grab. Turner is out. And that is that. One left for Philadelphia, but they lead it 3 nothing. We go to the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And yeah, a strike in there.
swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. That's hard hit on the line. Drops into the glove. And a couple of quick outs. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Whips it across. And that'll do it. Down in order go the Blue Jays. They trail it here 3-0. Out of the bottom of the eighth, Leading now the left fielder, the Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. That one, 95 to finish him off. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. And there's the strike. No ball, one strike. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Next offering is down low. It's a ball and two strikes. Righty delivers. And that one is lifted in the air. Springer there makes the catch. And there are two outs. Bryce Harper to the plate. The designated hitter. Ryan Harper. There's the strike. Well, and at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. And it's even up. And the righty deals. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. Bryce Harper goes deep, his 18th home run of the season, and they add to the lead. It's 4 0. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Two outs, nobody on. JT Real Muto now at the plate. First offering, and it just misses. the belt and fires got it started a little too early strike one on the ground to third oh look at the stop over to first and that's a nice play to end the inning the Phillies get one by way of the long ball last chance coming up for the Blue Jays Back at Citizens Bank Park, all set to start the ninth in this one. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. 
There's a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car. Dude. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. So a man aboard. And now, Bo Bichette. And that's in there for strike one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Ah, ground ball, and that's through the infield. Kiermaier coming home. Picks himself up an RBI. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Craig Kimbrell gets handed the rock out of the pen. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Here's George Springer in there at the knees, and that's strike one. Kimbrell, a six-foot righty, 34-year-old vet, and he's a former rookie of the year. Nobody out, runner at first. Goes down looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And that clips the inside corner. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, center field. It falls in, and that's a base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And here is Danny Jansen. No. And there's a ball. One and, oh. and it's one and one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next pitch is popped up. Pulls it in for the out. So they're down to their final okay. out. Digging okay. in, Brandon Bell. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. He's got some of the best swing and miss stuff going right now. He's striking out hitters at a very high rate this year, so this should be fun to watch. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Bichette, the runner at third. Guerrero at first, two out of the inning. 0 oh, 2 as he waves at that one. Next offering is foul back. Is just one strike away. Swung on, belted. Uh, that crap. one carrying. Gone. Brandon Belt goes deep. His 11th of the year, and they throw three on the board. It's 4-4. Four, four. outing ends that pitch is going to haunt him for a while an 0-2 mistake that's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone he left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with and that's exactly what he did and here is Matt Chapman that one's in there 0-1 next offering is foul back tied to four 
cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run homer. It's now tied 4-4. You're watching Phillies baseball on the show Northeast. Adam Simber taking over on the mound. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Derek Hall digs in now. Number 90, Adam Simber. And a pitch. Yeah, there's the strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Simber is ready. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Got him swinging. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Swing at a slow roller. Zips it across, and Castellanos is out. Three up. Three. We're in extras here, and now for the Jays, Dalton Varsho. The pitch. There's a strike. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. To the right side. And that one handled. Tosses to first. And they get the leadoff man in the 10th. Here's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. In there for strike one. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Now a slow roller to second. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And it's now 5-4. Kevin Kiermeyer next up for the Blue Jays. First pitch, and he just misses. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. High fly ball out to center field. Marsh pulls it down, two away down. Bo Bichette gets a chance to hit. And ball one. One ball. Go straight. He's going. He's Merrifield going. on the move. Swing and a miss. One strike. Real Muto throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe it back against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the unit. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the blue. Jordan Romano on to try and close. Well, one run game. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. Here comes a pitch. He's under it. Makes the grab. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Chopped to the left side. Tags the runner for one. And no throw. He's into first easily. And digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Going one. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. 
Down to their final strike. Going to count one and two. Lined, and that's a base hit. And now the winning run is on base. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm, trying to deliver as the hero. And that's in there for strike one. And now one strike away. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. And a swing and a miss. The tying and go-ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Well, I can't believe we took that one away. Um, yeah, it's a mess. Uh, lots of opportunity, really, and we didn't take advantage of them, and it just really bites. It's probably my fault, because I probably shouldn't have stretched an old bit that far. Uh, one day I'll learn. Anyways, this is David B69, and I'm out. Have a good day. Bye. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For Philadelphia, four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.